Happy New Year and welcome back to another video. I feel like 2024 is going to be such a good year for us. I'm walking into 2024 super motivated, super excited. Wishing you guys another year of prosperity, adventures, and happiness. For the first video of 2024, I wanted to talk to you guys about a couple of things. If you guys are on TikTok, you probably are aware of the trend 2004 ins and outs. And people basically just write their ins and their outs for this year. So I came up with a list of my own that I want to share with you guys. So this year, my main goal is to just all around get better in every aspect of my life. I want to get physically, mentally, emotionally, just take my life to a whole new level. I just want to be a completely better person. I want to make better habits this year. I'll post a little screenshot of my notepad from my iPhone and I'm going to be reading my list off my iPhone. For ins, staying in. I feel like I I like to be in the streets. I like to be out and about. So I want to stay in this year. And, I, and not only do I want to stay in, but I want to start waking up early. I want to have 6 a.m. mornings. Next thing, I put 5 to 7k steps daily. So usually it would be 10k, but I felt like a lot of the times I wasn't reaching that. I was getting discouraged, so I did a more realistic goal for myself. And of course, there's gonna be days where I do more than next. Be better at taking my vitamins. So I got my supplements nailed down, but something about my vitamins, I am pretty inconsistent with them. So three liters of water. For a long time, my goal was to drink a gallon of water, but it's, I do find it really hard for me to drink that much water. There is days where I do drink that, but for the daily, normal days, because you know there's a lot of times where I'm out running errands and I'm out and about that I can't drink a lot of water. Three liters of water for me, that is something that's realistic. I also saw this quote from Instagram today that I want to read to you guys because I really, really liked it. It says, can't get in five workouts a week, do three. Can't hit 10K steps, Go for seven. Can't work out for an hour? Do 30 minutes. Stop worrying about what you can do and start focusing on what you can do. And then I put, take action. It doesn't have to be perfect. And I love that. Like, I feel like on social media, like we see a lot of people and we're like, yeah, I can do that. Cause even me, but I'm not keeping up with what I say. It gets me discouraged. So I had to sit down and think to myself, like, what is realistic for me in my life that I can do, but I can still make myself better. I got sidetracked with that. But next thing on my ins for 2024 is limiting my alcohol consumption. I know that not drinking will really, really help me reach my fitness goals so much faster it's not drinking alcohol the way i was having my hangovers last year not even exaggerating i will literally be hungover for like two days just wasting two days because i'm just a freaking couch potato too hungover to do anything next thing on my list reading more and i want to read around eight books this year and but so far i finished one i mean i was reading it for like two months already, but I finished it today and it is January 8th. So my first book for the year is done. I wanna to try to read like eight more. Next, dinner parties. Like I said, I wanna stay in more, but I like just doing stuff and I can still do cute activities. Like if I'm just hanging out with my friends or my family at the house, I want. Next thing, focus on gut health. Gut health is so important. I've talked about it time and time again. Your gut is like your second brain. So I, I wanna prioritize my gut health this year. I wanna be more consistent with posting. I wanna travel out of the country, traveling perhaps. And then lastly, I want to go outside of my comfort zone. I feel like great things happen when you go outside of your comfort zone, but it's so easy to just get comfortable with what you're doing and not want to do more because you're like, why do more? Like, I'm perfect. I'm not stressed. You know, I want to get out of my comfort zone and see where that takes me. Now, for my outs list, endless scrolling at night, staying up late. I gotta start going to sleep earlier because I want to wake up earlier. Too much alcohol, FOMO, and procrastination, but I kind of feel like it's like reiterating the same thing on the top, but like backwards. 
there's a lot of times that like if I'm staying home and I see everybody out and about I'm just like I want to go there I need to stop having FOMO like but girl sit your ass on the couch drink some water it's gonna be okay and the last one procrastination because I am a big procrastinator I'm always like oh yeah like I can do it the day before and it's like girl just be prepared now on the day that you need to have something done you're not running around like a little chicken you know what i mean so that is my ins and my outs list for 2024 have you guys made your ins and outs list have you guys made a vision board yet speaking of vision board i ordered my prints from walgreens already so now i just gotta pick them up and do the vision board but what i like to do is i like to go to pinterest and screenshot pictures that i want on my vision board and then once i have all the pictures then i upload all those pictures on walgreens and i print out the prints i believe they're like four by six I forgot how much they are, but they're like maybe like 75 cents, 80 cents. So I already ordered the, the pictures and I think this week or early next week, I want to do my vision board for 2024. So encouraging you guys to make a vision board. You guys don't have to like do the prints. You guys can literally do one on Canva and set it as your wallpaper and your laptop screen. Um, but I think having something visual that you're seeing a lot of the times is really really helpful so the next thing i want to talk to you guys about is if you guys are not familiar i do have my own fitness app and on that app i have programs and challenges that i do the challenges are something that all the girls who purchase the challenge do it all together for this new year i'm all about slimming down losing fat toning up i'm gonna be having my new transform you challenge that's gonna be starting january 22nd so you still have about a week to sign up but Remember, once we start a challenge, you cannot enter the challenge, so you have to sign up before January 22nd. This challenge is called Transform You, and it is an eight-week challenge, like I mentioned, that's about losing fat and tightening up. In these eight weeks, you are going to get a five-day workout split. You're gonna get workouts for the eight weeks, and every workout, you get a video on how to do the form for each of the exercise. You also get a meal plan and you get somewhere where you can upload your progress pictures and you can also choose between doing at home or gym workouts and let's say you choose at home workouts it doesn't mean that for the entire eight weeks you have to stick to at home workouts you are able to switch between at home and gym workouts super easily on the app so if you are thinking about starting your fitness journey or you want to lose fat tighten up and you don't know where to start this is the perfect opportunity you guys, you guys will get my guidance and my support and i'm really excited for this challenge it's so much easier when you are able to just go into the gym and you don't have to think about like okay what am i working out today what exercises should i do like everything is just there for you in the app and if you don't have that like machine at your gym or it's taken at the gym you can also swap the workouts but yeah in the app you're gonna have your workouts for the day your meals for the day directions on how to do the meals you're gonna get breakfast lunch dinner and snacks and it's just all in the app super easy it helps make things a lot easier on you especially if you are someone who like i said is barely starting your fitness journey or you're just feeling like a little bit lost you're not sure what to do how much to eat what to eat this is the perfect app for you and the perfect opportunity for you to transform your life so if you guys are ready to lock in you guys want to start your fitness journey you guys want to slim down get ready for the summer get ready for spring break because summer bodies are built in winter but if you guys are ready to lock in and make that change for yourself, I'm going to leave the link to my Sweat With Lexi website in the description of this video. When you go to my website, all you have to do is purchase my Transform You Challenge, which is $89 for 8 weeks. Once you purchase Transform You, you will get an email on the steps on how to download the app. Once you guys are fully downloaded and up and running, if you guys decide to do Transform You, do not be shy to DM me. I love when you girls message me for advice or you guys want to show me progress pictures. I love it so much. So don't be shy to slide in the DMs if you guys purchase Transform You and have questions, comments, concerns. This is what I am here for. The last thing that I want to talk about since I am talking about my Transform You challenge, I've gotten a lot of DMs within the last week or so 
asking for a sub haul so i do want to briefly talk about the supplements that i'm going to be prioritizing for my cut like i mentioned uh my challenge is eight weeks so it's a two month cutting challenge but i do want to cut for like three to four months i do want the beginning of the year to be my cutting phase so since i am cutting i want to shred l carnitine greens and creatine you guys can take it first thing in the morning on an empty stomach which is what i like to do or 15 minutes before you work out but oxytrate is a thermogenic fat burner it's it's going to give you that natural burst of energy and it has l-tyrosine which is going to get you focused and enhance your mood so you're going to get a natural burst of energy and this is why you can use it as a pre-workout because it boosts your mood but it doesn't give you the jitters if you are someone that doesn't like the jitters, OxyShred is great, but they also do have a non-stim OxyShred, which doesn't have caffeine. So if you are someone that's sensitive to caffeine, you could still get OxyShred minus the caffeine because the regular OxyShred does have caffeine. For my pre-workout drink, I like to mix the OxyShred, the L-carnitine, and the creatine all together for my pre-workout drink. I like to mix the L-carnitine in because L-carnitine helps turn your fat into energy so you're able to burn it off. And then of course the creatine is going to help with mood and recovery. It's going to help you work out longer, lift heavier, and helps with lean muscle mass. So since I want to cut, that's why OxyShred, L-carnitine, and creatine are going to be my besties for my pre-workout drink. And then greens, like I said, I want to prioritize my gut health this year. So I want to be taking my greens and my reds. And in conjunction with taking care of my gut health, I like to do apple cider vinegar tea in the morning. I, I like to add in some aloe vera juice and some fresh lemon juice for my morning tea. That's another thing that I do for my gut health. These are the supplements that I'm going to be prioritizing. If you guys have any questions about supplements, my workout plans, anything like that, let me know in the comments and I'll be sure to answer you guys. Like I said, if you guys want to sign up for Transform You, you have to sign up before the 22nd of January. But let's make 2024 your best year yet. Let's stay organized on top of our game. Let's not procrastinate and let's shit up. Let's have a great year. I'm so excited and I hope you guys are ready for this year that we're about to have. That's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I'll see you on next week's video. Bye, guys.